I asked for Dara And I found you I needed Dara And discovered you Dara is goodness Mercy Favor Dara see me Hello. Hi. <laughs> this is Lawrence and Dara Swimi again. Mm -hmm. You know, to continue on our How We Met video. Part two. Part two. And I trust you were blessed by the first one. Mm. You know, we got a lot of interesting comments and feedbacks <laughs> that were quite encouraging, actually. Yeah. You know, it shows that um, God truly is working nowadays. And we're privileged to be a part of what he's doing in these times. Thank you so much for following. We truly do not take this for granted. We are privileged to be able to bring whatever instructions, mm -hmm. you know, whatever um, truths and lights mm -hmm. to you. We don't claim to be better or more informed. Yeah. And many of our listeners who are listening, well, we just hope that by... <clears throat> By the instrumentation of our sharing, you know, our experiences, God can use one or two things to throw light on your situation, answer your questions, mm. and bring you as much progress as possible. Amen. All right, we want to use this opportunity to announce that we will be starting a church work in the city of Ibadan. If you are within the city of Ibadan, and you're looking for a place to enjoy God, be taught mm. and be properly fed, we are inviting you to join us. Watch our social media space for more information on this. Mm. God bless you. Mm. All right, so let's get right into it. How we met. So mm. Part two. We stopped at the proposal. If you were following, if you haven't watched it, you should. Please. So that you know, <laughs> this part two can yeah. make you know, much sense to you. Mm. Stop this video and head over Just to... Just head over there, part watch one. part one. Yeah. And uh, this part two will, will bless you. Amen. So, um, so I had proposed, mm -hmm. and then uh, I went to meet. as a man of God as I was, expecting, you know, this daughter of God to tell me yes immediately. You know, I got a shocker, and um, I think I will pass it over to you. Go ahead and tell us. <laughs> What okay, happened? well, it, it, it shouldn't be a shocker for you. Definitely, if, if, if someone proposes to you as a lady, you shouldn't immediately say yes. Why you is should, that? You should definitely pray about it. Seek the face of God. Check well to know if this is the man you are going to spend the rest of your what life with. What if the person has received instruction before the guy even arrives? Number two, you should actually um, take some time to tell your spiritual heads about it first, even if you know he's the one. Mm. So the person can be, hold on, let me, let me, you know, give one or two women or his due. Mm -hmm. Your spiritual heads, your parents, you know, they should know about it mm -hmm. before you, you know, give the answer to the man. So in your case, when you proposed, I went mute because I was, um, I I had seen it coming like a week before he proposed. No, I said I had no idea. But a few days before the actual proposal, I noticed how, you know, the trend was going of, I need to talk to you about something. It was kind of familiar already. So I was getting a little tense that he wants to leave the brother's own. Oh, oh God, oh God, oh God, have mercy. So he finally proposed. And then I said, definitely, after, you know, keeping quiet for some minutes i said i definitely will not answer you immediately he said yes he he he's aware he understands completely mm. so i said okay um as an executive it's actually an sscf regulation mm. for you not to get engaged if you were not engaged before assuming your office mm -hmm. so i had to because i was under authority i told him i would not be 
giving you a response till four months' time. <laughs> That's the end of my tenure. So uh, he had to he had to wait for four months before getting a response. Now, ladies, please do not keep a brother waiting for more than more than. Do you have a time limit? <laughs> one or two months. It, it doesn't have to be up to one or two months. Mm. If, if once, it, once the Lord tells you that this is the person and you know you've done what you're supposed to do, you give him the answer and let him live his life if, if he's not the one. And if he's the one, let him know. You shouldn't keep a brother waiting in the waiting room for so long, uncalled for. That is wickedness. So in my case, I had, to, I, had, no, I had to inform him that I'm under authority. I cannot give you an answer yet. And then even though it was like, ah, but it's just... You know, I say I'm under authority. I cannot give you an answer <laughs> yet, <laughs> please. So um, after I, you know, explained to him the NCC regulations and everything, he uh, he actually understood, though he didn't take it well because it means he would have to, you know, be uncertain for four months. He, he wasn't sure whether to move on or to wait and all. Yes. Yeah, so after after waiting and after checking and you know trying to get my signal to know the answer ahead of time. I tried, I tried to, you know, retain, you know, a straight face and a formal job. answer. Very good job with that. <laughs> <laughs> I tried my possible yeah, best. Straight job. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then towards the end of the four months, he asked a very important question. He said, wait, Darcy, is it everyone, like everyone that, you know, has proposed to you that you told them to wait for four months? Is it, is it everyone or it's just me? And it was, I knew that was a trick question, a very... Smart question too. <laughs> if it was just him, he missed it. It's going to be a yes. So I just told him, I'm not answering that question. Wait for four months. Wait to the end of this four months. Uh, I, it, it was, you were actually very smart to ask that kind of question. So the delay for me, to say the least, was frustrating. You know, <laughs> if you watched part one, remember my story. I had, you know, confusion around the subject. And I really wanted to nail it once and for all and um, I should say this now it doesn't matter what God tells you about a person mm. if a person does not agree with what God has told you you go back to God and tell God your son your daughter does not believe that I'm the one for them and you told me that this mm. is my life partner don't God yourself, will yourself. never force a person into this kind of thing mm. and so i mean i've had i've had people say all oh, manner of things and they're waiting five years ten years the person gets married and your life is on pause because mm. god said you know it's good to <clears throat> it's good to be wise apply wisdom in the way we deal with these matters so i knew god had sorted me out a year or two before i was certain that my life will not crumble because someone does not accept me. And everybody must reason like that. You know, but either ways, I knew this was the will of God for me. And I was willing to wait, but for how long am I going to wait? So that's why in the song, you hear me say, uh, okay, that's not the particular song. Which song? And I don't delay me. That, okay, that's the one. <laughs> nah, that's a, that's a part of it. The verse that you I removed because I heard he gave you an answer. Yeah. So. Da, 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 don't delay me. You know? <laughs> so, because I felt like I was being delayed literally and my life was on hold. Is this she the one or do I keep, you know, or do we wait for another and so on? But, anyways, that's how I felt in that period. You are mm. not necessarily making progress and mm. you don't know if you're on the same spot. Mm. You don't know if you should open your heart to any other options or what exactly is going on here. So it's not a nice <laughs> feeling, basically. So ladies, please take note. Release the guy and let him go. Mm. You know, and let us have, you know... Um, Unless you are in, you know, the kind of um, situation that I was in that you know yes yes definitely it was a matter of authority and thank god it was four months if it was one year what would i have done i don't know <laughs> you'd have waited you know <laughs> one full year <laughs> so 
But something that stood out or something that blessed me about that process was the fact that she was that submitted to authority mm. despite her feelings for me. Because as a guy, you can... I know that I have tendencies to misunderstand <laughs> <laughs> signals. But how about... Uh, uh, mm. I believe I could... I, I knew at some point that this this babe is this babe is vibing with me you know she's <laughs> she likes me joe and I, we're talking we're talking she can't be talking to everybody like this unless she's a scammer <laughs> unless something is wrong somewhere she can't that's why i ask some of those questions okay. you can't be talking to me like this and be talking to everybody else like this ah, mm. ah something is wrong so somewhere has, so yeah is not, so you know, she's not saying yes, but we are talking. We are making, you know, some level of friends. progress. We're becoming yeah. friends, and you can tell that you mean something to her. You know, so I was impressed with the fact that, despite the fact that she could easily just say, "Please, we are not a relationship," but uh, because of I'm, a, I'm an ESCO in NCCF. NCCF, by the way, is uh, Nigerian Christian Corpus Fellowship. For those who don't know, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not able to be in a relationship now, but just know that it's a yes. So hold on till it's official. She didn't even give me, you know, a green light that it is a yes. So up until the fourth month, I'll be sincere with you, my. <laughs> my assurance kept on going up and down it's not a nice thing for a man of god <laughs> that's the summary the matter of peace hmm. and to go to this one mm -hmm. yes because I'm, I'm on the receiving end so we've we are let me see i'm familiar with this phrase or let me say this statement of you know you need to have peace you need to have peace and it's very true you need to have peace with the person and I could say that for during the period, the four months period, and you know the prayers and seeking the face of God to know if this is actually it, so despite the fact that God had already given me a sign earlier on, I'm someone that you know will check and check and check and check. Um, so many thoughts were badging into my mind, fears of the future, because the truth is, you know. With regards to my background, it's expected to find somebody maybe in down institutes or in, you know, the drama college because of how, you know, I because of how I grew up in the drama world, if I should say it like that. But my brother here, the pastor's child. <laughs> That's why the pastor, why are you looking like that? <laughs> the pastor's child, which is awesome, but it doesn't really have, it, let me say, it did not have a lot of experience with, you know, the drama ministry. So I was like, mm, I didn't actually expect, you know, I had, some, I had some expectations in that regard. So I had to check and check and check. Then aside from that, um, fears of the future, fears of the unknown, how things are going to be, um, provision, the vision, my assignments, my ministry, his ministry, compatibility. Fears like that kept coming in and, you know, it was, it, 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 it became overwhelming at a point. Then I had to ask myself this question that this fears I'm feeling like, is it, is it from God or from the devil? Because truly, if it's the will of God, the devil will fight it. Mm -hmm. So you must know that just because you have been so many thoughts of, you know, um, of what can happen wrong if you enter into something, you can think, oh my God, I'm having so many fears, I'm having... You know, I'm having an, an unsettled mind, then it means probably it's not the will of God. No, the devil will fight it all the more if it is the will of God, which means we really have to, you know, be trained to know the voice of the Lord. So I had a lot of um, fears badging into my mind. How is it going to be? How are we going to, you know, um, how are we going to raise our children <laughs> different kinds of unnecessary mm. thoughts that were coming up even now, now thinking back i'm like what was i even thinking mm. why was i afraid so i had to sort i had to sort them all out because I, I i i had to you know shut myself in 
now to sit with the Lord to know if this is his will. Because at a point, I knew for certain that, no, this is not the voice of the Lord. This is not the voice of the Lord. And, you know, just like the Bible says that even the devil masquerades as an angel of light. I spoke back to the voices at one point and I said, shut up. And it was that fierce because I knew for saying that this is not, this is, that this is not the voice of the Lord. And as soon as I shouted, shut up, he's the one. As soon as I said that, there was just this quietness, like, oh my God, she actually responded finally. There was, a, there was this heavy quietness, this peace that I was like, hold oh, that, okay, what is going on? It was like, it was like a warfare was going on at that point, you know, just trying to hinder me from giving him an answer. I guess because of what was on our lives individually. And they were, of course, afraid of what can come from this union if we, when we come together. So it was that, it was that, you know, heated. That period was really heated for me. That the four months, and I'm so grateful for NTCF, as it was strenuous for you. I was so grateful that I had that time duration, that time to, you know, pray, to wait, to seek His face, to know for certain, to have my answer, to be sure of the answer before giving him the answer. I was so self so I took advantage of that period very well. So yes, on the matter of peace, I had a peace that passeth understanding. But then the devil will try to give a similitude of restlessness in the spirit. You know, because the devil really tried to manipulate me, thinking that, oh my God, you don't have peace, which means it's not the will of God. Not, not knowing it was him that was badging my mind with fears of the unknown. Because he will definitely fight against the will of God. As mm. long as he knows it's God's will, he will fight against it. Mm. So yes, I had that set, I had that peace once I, once I shouted back at the voices and I said, he's the one. The peace just came. It was, it was, it was, it was just amazing. That was the first phase of my conviction that he was the one. So with regards to this subject of peace, I believe that God led us through that pathway mm. so that we can help a number of people. But it had never come to our minds mm -hmm. that this could be a strategy of Satan to scatter divinely orchestrated relationships. Mm. You know, that, that, um, that fact that you believe peace means absence of turbulence is a trap. Yeah. And many people are heading mm. for that trap. Mm -hmm. Peace does not mean absence of turbulence. Mm -hmm. Peace means rest in the midst, in the midst of the turbulence. Storm. So in the storm, Jesus was still, you know. The disciples could have taken peace. the journey as an evidence to show that I don't they think could, we should they be exactly, here. They and the madman of Gadarene. Beautiful, so, beautiful. Okay, be have, oh God. I mean, mad to ah, this ah, Oh God. Till today. Till today. <laughs> <laughs> but it just showed that the, definitely there was something that had to be yeah, done. That yeah. was very strategic. Because people have tendencies to quickly um, throw away or discard God's will because of one issue that comes up. Mm. It means there's an issue here. Satan, yeah. knowing that that is your level of light and understanding, is going yeah. to play that card on yeah. you all the time. The fact that there are issues arising does not mean uh, it is not God. Mm. Please balance it because... Mm. Also, it could mean it that you should sign. look at it again. Mm -hmm. But for many believers that God has led to each other, we must all be careful to ensure that the enemy does not use this card against us because he really tried it for us. Ah. Hmm. He tried it for us. Mm -hmm. He really tried it for us. Mm -hmm. If we don't say some of these things, you would think it was all just fun and rosy mm -hmm. from start to finish. We never had any issues. Mm -hmm. But we had... We had to contend with serious warfare, mm -hmm. you know, before, you know, some of the things that you now see and celebrate. Mm. So anyways. Okay. So um, also in the midst of um, the old confusion and the badging fears and everything, the fears, they were so tangible that I could almost feel them. And I was like, wait, what, what exactly is the problem? What is going on? Because it was, it, it was coming quite ridiculous. Like, is it, is it, is it this, is it this same young man that, <laughs> why am I having so many thoughts against him? So it was so bad that I was, it, 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 it started to get to me that, okay, maybe I should hold on, maybe I should. But then there'll be this voice from within to wait and hold on. Don't tell him a no, just hold on, just hold on, just hold on. He's supposed to be here. He's supposed to be with me. 
it, it, so it was it was quite confusing for me at a point then um of course i told i told my parents about it i told my siblings you know my parents they are my spiritual heads so i told them about it i told my siblings as well and i thank god for my parents they wouldn't categorically tell me that okay we received this about him he's the one or received this he's not the one they told me to go and pray and i should tell them what i received so i really thank god for my parents and i think that's literally the best way to do it to guide mm -hmm. someone rightly mm -hmm. so they said okay they'll go and pray and tell us what you received we, we will pray as well and we will receive something <laughs> we'll also receive our own <laughs> so so yes um they were praying i was praying they kept asking me that so has god said anything i'll be like yeah i said something but i want to be sure i kept saying i want to be sure i want to be sure because of the badging fears i had gotten my answer but the fears were just the thoughts the horrible mm. thoughts were just coming coming and i was like okay sometimes accusations mm -hmm. like see, yes see what he did are you sure are you sure see look, look at this a sign look at this and you know, I'm like, look at this mm. mistake he made are you sure that he should not I said be it's not human future? You know, so I'm, I'm, we are pretty sure that mm. there are people watching who have experienced some of these things. Mm -hmm. And if if you're not armed with this light, surely those of you who are not yet in relationships, mm. be armed with this light so that the enemy does not mm -hmm. you know, um, use it against you. Yes, yes. yes. And definitely to balance it, there are some things that someone might do that can you know be a sign of something deeper. Yes. Yes. Definitely. But then definitely once you are once once you have a personal relationship with the Lord and you bring it before him and it's and yeah. it still tells you to go back to him that don't worry it will be sorted out then you have no need to fear but there was one particular day that um i had a joy you know in, okay and i said I've, I've been having a silent peace within despite all the thoughts and the fears and all there's been a peace now there was one day that i had this overwhelming joy i can i can categorically say that there was an angel of joy that came into the room yeah. it was overwhelming and it was <laughs> It was so tangible that I jumped out of my bed and I ran to my brother's room and I was saying, Joshua is the one. He's the one. I told you he's the one. Joshua was looking at me like, okay. I said, Joshua, look, I'm I, I was talking. Okay. And I was saying it hey, so well. How does this okay, did I say he's not the one? I said, Joshua, see, Joshua, see, see what God said about him. And I was talking and I was just saying, Okay, <laughs> and I was talking so confidently that my lips were even dried. Self, so I didn't touch it. I said, "You address that your lips are dried already." I said, eh, "I didn't know." Like it, it, it was that real that I couldn't. Mm. It was so real and so tangible. Mm. That was another layer of conviction that God gave me, as well. Then the final one was when I was praying, not just for myself now, but for you know, um, just for um, whatever that well, whatever is unsettled to be settled so i was just praying in the middle of the night i i, I prayed for over almost over, over three hours i was just praying speaking in tongues and then i told god to you know speak directly to my parents about it you know just like just i was just praying at the end of the prayer i just i just finished i was i, I was quite tired and then i was going back to the room to rest i was praying downstairs my room was upstairs obviously so um i went upstairs then I forgot something, came back downstairs. As I was climbing upstairs, I saw my mom at the top of the stairs, just looking at me. Like she just, obviously she had just woken up because her eyes were quite red. I said, Homie, what happened? I said, she had a dream. And she sit down. <laughs> she said, Dara, are you confused about you know, the will of God? <laughs> Straight to the point, the dream was affirming that he was the one and that no one should have any issues again it is settled so i was like wow i was so surprised like is it that are you kidding me right now that was so quick so i was so surprised that you had this dream this night i said, I said mommy i've been praying for over three hours downstairs I said, wow interesting interesting so that was another layer of conviction as well the last video i spoke about added understandings that you know had come in process of time Mm. And um, one of them, or the first one I would say, is that I had come to realize that a marriage will not work, a relationship or a marriage will not work, you know, simply because you were led by God into it. 
it will work most importantly because that relationship is founded on the principles of scriptures mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how god led you it still won't work if it wasn't founded on the principles of scriptures and we could go spiritual on you and tell you about encounters dreams visions and all the things that you know we had to confirm but the reason i chose to speak the way i spoke in the first video was to help a number of people who are out there who are having a lot of slow feet and the only reason is because they know how the voice you know if you sense a leading towards somebody understand that it will not work just because your leading was spectacular mm. or special or so you know your your relationship or marriage must be founded on the principles mm. of scriptures or else so in summary if two people mm you know come together without any special leading and they choose to follow the word of god as far as a relationship is concerned they will be around for 30 40 years another two sets of people hear god dreams and vision five five dreams each you know and come together if they don't ensure that they are establishing it on the principles of faith of the word of god mm -hmm. that relationship will break in no time a beautiful example is one of our, our very great fathers that we love and honor and respect. You know, we've, we read his book. I might not mention the name, you know, but even though his story is all over the place, he says it all the time. You know, Pastor Benny, you know, many of us know Pastor Benny Hinn's story. He has told us his story a number yeah. of times. You know, how he was led to his wife. There was spectacular, his spectacular was a part of his leading. Yeah. You know, I remember reading his book, he said, he told God, if she's the one for me, let her bring a this particular food, of, you know, to yeah. greet me, I think at the, at the airport or something like that. Yeah, and she brought it. You know, there were interesting confirmations. And some of you have been there. I have been there as well. And it didn't mean the marriage didn't have, uh -huh. you know, its own issues. Thank God today they are together and, you know, God is, God is prospering them. But not many people have this beautiful ending. Mm. even after such a beautiful beginning mm. and so i don't want us to focus too much on how special your leading is what you should be focused on is how grounded your relationship is mm -hmm. on the truth of the word of god that's the only thing that will abide forever mm. i just felt i should lay that out there yeah, to help okay. somebody who is listening to us that's that's what gave the extra confidence when i was approaching her that as far as this matter is concerned if i found a good woman I find her attractive, I like her, and she shares the same understandings that are very, 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 you know, unshakable, things I cannot negotiate. And we are understanding each other, and I mean, and I'm, and I'm sensing a leading towards her. <laughs> and I'm sensing the leading towards her. Okay. Then fire on and stop stressing the Holy Spirit, because you know at the end of the day it is the truth of god's word that's going to keep you mm -hmm. you can't blackmail him and say lord but you led me into this relationship and you're not following the truth of god's word mm -hmm. it will not work i'd also like to emphasize the place of being preoccupied with the lord's work because he found me he found me working he found me as a drama director we were preparing for land of fury it was, mm. it was a month before location, before the movie location. So I was so preoccupied with, you know, the, the setting, the cast, you know, the production of the movie. I was, because this, this, this was the first movie that I was going to produce. My brothers were not here. Mom and dad were not here. They just said, so Dara, um, get the settings, get the cast, let us know how far. So I was, it was just, it was just me and my, um, my G. We call, we call them G, your predecessor. It was both of us that were involved with it. So I was so occupied. I was so tired. I think at the point, my eyes were getting red. I was very, very preoccupied and busy with the assignments. And he met me there. So all the, all, all the, um, all the planning of how we're going to meet or if she's saying yes or if, if, if I'm getting sick or what's getting, he was getting everything. I wasn't even involved with the entire process. It was just he and the Holy Spirit that was involved with it, which should be how it is because the Bible says he will find that they wife. He needs to do the finding. The husband needs to do the finding. Okay. So the point is that, ladies, 
even though the Lord, even if the Lord sends you to Antarctica to go and work for him and your husband is, your husband is from Osho State, Nigeria, don't worry. The Lord is going to plan the meetup. Whether he's going mm. to travel there or he's going to bring you there, don't worry about it. Just stay busy, stay worked up, stay preoccupied with the Lord and stay presentable. Which thing for you that I learned? What? All that you what? I learned. When? I learned at all. You learned. We are playing. You're sorry. I'm wondering so you have learned it down there. You're not trying to. Remember. No, no, no. Just like it doesn't have to do with any of this. I just play. Well, kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> there was one time I I I, I prepared the uh, intro of some of them. Um, don't say that. Are you serious? Wow. Well, yeah, you can. Well, there's one this So, to her response, I actually have it on recording. Are you aware of this? No. Where? So, <laughs> possibly <laughs> we'll play it so people can hear. <laughs> What Look. happened? Look. That's how coded I can be. Where is it? <laughs> Where is the recording? Oh my god. Is so this your anyways, phone that I've not seen it? Yes, it's there. Okay. I'll hear it. <laughs> so anyways. <laughs> this woman. <laughs> You're going she with. chose <laughs> that she will use man of God's heart to play tennis. No, Abba, no. Wasn't that serious? On thought, she gave me the feedback on the Saturday. I was going for administration from one <laughs> to another. The second administration was um, a quiet bomb CCF. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Meeting starting on yeah, Friday, sure. ending on Sunday. And I was in Port Harcourt Wednesday, Thursday. So I think it was Thursday in the morning. She reached me. We had been counting down to the feedback. And sincerely, I, I was already sure that it's gonna be, it yes. is a yes. We can't be talking this much. You know, that's why I said that any lady that is doing that is not doing what is correct. You know, you can't be talking this much. And leading you on. Leading me on. Mm -hmm. And now tell me a no. Mm -hmm. There's no need wasting my time. Mm -hmm. You should just... That's why I asked her a question. The question is, is it everyone, is it that, everyone that you are that proposed to me that, that I gave them the four months? <laughs> you know, and you are still talking yeah. with them like this, and you are still waiting to the fourth month before you tell them whether it's yeah, yes or no. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I just I just felt like this was going to be a yes. Mm. Until that Thursday. On that Thursday, we we're speaking, and then she said, What did you see? <laughs> Go okay. ahead. Hey, yeah. So that Thursday, I just felt like he was, he was, he was getting too confident. And I beg, he said, "Yes, Jerry, he was." Got. So I said, "Hmm, let me just, you know, do one last drama, <laughs> just one last drama." So that Thursday morning, I said, "Ah, um, Lawrence, how are you doing?" Oh, I said, ah, "I'm fine. How are you? How's, how's everything?" I said, "I'm good, though. I just want you to know that at, at the end of today." God is still God, even though it's a no or it's a yes. Just know that at the end of the week, no, that the no, Lord. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Right. At the end of at the end of the four months period, at the end of everything. And even if you don't get that, the Lord remains God. That He is in charge of your life. <laughs> <laughs> He's the orchestrator of your My destiny. God. He knows your future partner. Even if no matter what happens, He remains God, and everything works together. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember the emotions I and felt. Everything works together for good to them that, that love day. the Lord. I was encouraging uh -uh. you. Hey, you me. <laughs> See this lady. You. I was encouraging him that no matter what, it's good. Did I tell you I was discouraged? <laughs> I tell you I was having emotional meltdown. <laughs> you just started encouraging <laughs> me. Like, what kind of encouragement is this? May they not encourage you that kind of encouragement in Jesus' name. <laughs> <laughs> So I just thought I should just let him know that no matter what, God remains He's God. still God. Yes. So, so I, I said I have hmm. to go and everything. <laughs> so he said, okay. So I think I think I he sent me. That day. You sent me a message that I still love you no matter what. Oh. 
on Saturday was um, the day she was to hand over, and that was the day I was going to get my feedback. Mm. And I just finished, you know, the meeting. And I was meeting with uh, Mr. Selman. Mr. Selman meets her that night. So, um, yeah. So after the service was over, I came back to the hotel, and we had planned 9:30 or 10 p.m. We we're going to make the call and then talk. Mm. So I called. Da. Said, "Well done, no. Michelle." <laughs> so, all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening, no. And then the next thing that comes out of her mouth is, da. "So I Lawrence, I, um, I want you to know that." I will not. I don't think it's God's will. I don't will. think it is God's will. will for I was me. listening to her. <laughs> I don't think it's God's will for me not to marry you. Her name is I ask for that. And I found you. So I said, what did you say? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I said, we said, we said, we <laughs> So that's how she used my heart to play. You shouldn't be too confident. <laughs> <laughs> to play Tete. So it was so happy you were happy at last. Yeah. Hey, that's why it tells me everything. Oh, sure. I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> you were happy at last. So it was real beautiful. So I, we prayed that night. Yeah. And then we started officially. Yes. So oh, that went. was how <laughs> we met. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to us. Thank you for watching. Once again, we mm. don't take this for granted. Thank you mm. for honoring us, for all your gifts, for your love, for your mm. care. We pray that the Lord will bless and reward you in Jesus' name. Amen. And we'd like to pray for you. Mm. I want us to pray for <laughs> For all those who are expecting who are desirous of this kind of a blessing mm. if you don't mind just stretch out your hands if you're watching a tv mm. um, screen or wherever you are and be intentional with this we believe strongly that every obedience has results and testimonies attached to them mm. we believe strongly that many things are going to result from this video and so please, I want to ask that you please stretch forth your hands. If you're watching a TV screen or it's on your phone or whatever, just close your eyes and be intentional with this prayer. We decree in the name of Jesus that everyone under the sound of our voice that is going through one confusion or the other, in the name of Jesus, let there be light. Amen. We decree and we declare unto all those listening to us, who are desiring this kind of miracle, yes. who are waiting for their partner. Mm -hmm. We pray in the name of Jesus, let that miracle happen now in Jesus' name. Amen. We decree and we declare those who are trusting God for funds to settle down. They've been in a relationship and they are afraid of the journey of marriage because of funds. We pray that the Lord will begin to surprise every single one of you mm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that every relationship that is under crisis right now, mm. under a storm, mm. every divinely orchestrated relationship or marriage, mm. under the sound of our voice mm. right now, Jesus. that is currently being attacked by the mercy of God, we declare peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. We declare peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. We declare peace in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. We declare all over the world, let there be harmony, peace in homes represented here in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that as you have watched, as you have listened, these truths will abide with you and never leave you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will continue to teach you beyond the things you have heard. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Mm. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining us. I believe, I believe you have been blessed. You've been blessed. And uh, you've also been intentional with the prayers as well. 
So Dara. see you next time in our next video. Dara. God bless you. Please, if bless you haven't you. liked and subscribed, go ahead and Dara. like and subscribe. Forget to like and this subscribe. Channel. Our, our social media handles will be on the screen yeah. for you to follow. Mm -hmm. We trust that. As the days go by, mm -hmm. you are going to be engaged mm -hmm. with a lot of very, 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 very useful contents mm -hmm. that will edify your spirits mm -hmm. and push you forward. Mm -hmm. God bless you. We love you and there's love nothing you can do about it. Bye. We believe strongly that this video was an obedience that heaven wanted to use to do or once again let me repeat that again we believe strongly that this <laughs> so you can live in the city of the burden and you are currently churchless Kata oh. is God intended relationship <laughs> Scatter divinely or kiss. He remains good and everything works together. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember the emotions. I need you, darling.